What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, we're trying to make the truck a little bit better because we wanna get it ready to actually be able to, I don't know if you can hear that in the video, we wanna be able to get it ready to actually put it on the road here soon. So we got some stuff we need to get done, some stuff we need to get taken care of on it. And today, all the mods I'm doing with the exception of a gauge cluster is actually free mods but it's things that need to be done and let's just hop straight into it let's cut to the chase guys also before we cut into that i had some people in the other videos asking about the civic maybe it needs to come back i like pretty much got it done and then i just started on the truck and lost track i don't know maybe i need to get back to it but let me show you the very first thing we're doing on the truck and it's a it's going to revolve around a sawzall so let me show all you. right so uh, part of getting the truck back to being able to put it on the road is, uh, yeah, I think you can see, uh, the exhaust is horrible. Um, I don't understand. I'm going to get on the other side before I cut it off and show you guys where it loops to, but this has to be fixed. I did order an MBRP full four inch exhaust all the way back from the turbo. Um, just waiting on that to come in. But in the meantime, we have got to at least cut this uh, underneath the cab to get these duels off because this looks tragic. All right, guys, so you can see the exhaust is actually on the bottom section. You see it's broke heading all the way back. Yes, I know that end link needs replaced, but what we're gonna do is right where it was right here, I am going to just go ahead and buzz that and just get that off from right there. So let me just hop straight into it.
hangers back here, or even worse. Oh. So, stop straight there. Uh, for right now, that'll be fine. Um, it's not the best design, but you know, this is just me being 100% honest. Yeah, you can see that coat hanger holding that exhaust up. That's really nice. Let me tell you, that's really nice. But this is what I cut off. Um, that's just gonna be solid scrap metal. That is terrible. I don't even know who thinks that looks good. Anyway. That's step one complete. You know, good old Sawzall mod goes a long way. Um, it already looks better, but like I said, going with a four inch MBRP, um, it's just gonna loop like right there. It'll come out single. And you know, I'm sure along the way, whenever I buy it or whenever it gets here, and I wanna buy it because it's already ordered, it's going to need some hangers. I'm crawling under there, never really looked at the exhaust. It's gonna need some hangers. So just add that to the list of things that we're gonna need done. But that's part one of today's mod. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into part two. All right, so this might be the first time you guys have actually seen the interior. Um, I'm pretty much positive I'm going to break this, um, which is okay, because it already kind of looks broken, and that's all right with me. Um, we're not trying to break anything, but you can see the dash is uh, typical second gen, and, uh, yeah, it's already broke, which, you know. All right, so I need a Torx and a Phillips right there. And I think that might be it. I think the rest might pull out, but I need a Torx and a Phillips, so. Hang on. All right, and we're back. Um, while I'm taking this out, you guys ever have that, uh, you know, like when you're working on your projects and your garage just becomes an absolute train wreck and uh you can't find any of your tools that's uh that's me currently and you know I'm trying to do better with that but it's uh i'm gonna need to spend a solid day just organizing stuff again the second i get this cummins a little bit more roadworthy and I put it on the road and start working through stuff, which interior is going to be last on this for sure. I'm just kind of talk while I'm working through this. I, uh, I have a couple oil leaks on this, which by the sounds of it is the most common thing in the world. So I got to work on them. I'm going to start from the top. Uh, valve cover gaskets, going to replace the turbo oil feed, going to replace the turbo drain. Um you know just working my way down from the top to uh yeah i think that's it unless there's something on this side that's hanging me up but it doesn't feel like it like i said guys i don't i don't know too too much about these but it seems like uh, it seems like they're very very easy to break, and uh, trying not to do that. Okay, and of course I had a phone call as soon as that was uh, as soon as that was coming in, so I tried to answer that, but it, I think that's it. I think like a couple orders, a couple orders come with it. 
I don't know. I don't want to break these. Apparently, you know, you know, right, right I'm back in the 90s, the, uh, the cup holders were uh, something you uh, don't see too much. I don't know if that's true or not. You guys can put it down in the comments. But... All right, let me let me turn the camera off and I need to move around. All right, so the bezel came off. It didn't really seem like I broke it. I had to lower this. Main reason I'm doing this, guys, is love the dash crack in this. This is what they were using as a speedometer. They were plugging it in to the cigarette lighter, and that does not work for me. So, a buddy, I actually got two clusters. He said one of them works, one of them doesn't. So, I'm going to pull this out, and we're going to plug the other one in and see if we can test it. it okay so not really sure oh that just fell Let's screw not really sure why this one stopped working um but it did so when you guys take these out um you got your just a phillips here here down in the bottom corners of both sides just four and then what you do is like to get it over the steering wheel you kind of just tilt it like this and then bring it up out and you have two connectors on the back one up here and one up here so kind of tells you everything on the back i'm not sure if i can like i'm trying to tell like if there's like corrosion on some of these like connectors to see why the speedometer isn't working or you know it could even be i'm doing all this and it's just not hooked up to like the transmission like a speed sensor or something like that i'm not really sure huh well let me get the other one in and let me find out this was interesting though this was not plugged in and i'm not sure what that is if you guys know in the comments let me know i'm not sure what that is all right, so the cluster I'm putting back in is an automatic cluster, but I'm not too worried about it because if you have an automatic cluster, you're just gonna take this Phillips off and this Phillips off, you're gonna drop that bar out and you're gonna replace it with your manual one. This is super dirty, um, but just by rubbing a little bit, it's looking like it's coming pretty clean. So let me put this in and let me see if the gauges work properly. All right guys, so got the cluster plugged in. Speedometer works. Uh, oil pressure, sorry about the quality. Oil pressure works, battery works. Not sure about temp yet. I know that it didn't work on the old one, so trying to get that to work. And I did take it down the road. It's just setting in there. I did take it down the road, and unfortunately, it's not working. Um, I am going to put a decent amount of fuel in this tomorrow and see if the uh, fuel gauge works. But speedometer is still not working, so I guess I uh, need to check a speed sensor to see if it's hooked up in the transmission. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I tried to be a little bit more, uh, like I tried to explain a little bit more versus just kind of putting everything on time lapse like I normally do. Um, let me know if you guys like that or if you just want me to keep time lapse and stuff um, so that you can just go from there. But basically what happened was cut the exhaust off the back which is fine but then i realized how bad the exhaust really is now so obviously can't wait for the new system to come in speedometer is still not working and i'm not sure about temp gauge um so also if you are a cummins like guru please explain to me what that black tab was on the back side of the gauge cluster because i don't know and it's not plugged in and it's on both my clusters um, I looked around in there for like something to plug in, didn't see nothing like that. So just let me know. And uh, yeah, so I still don't have Speedo, need to fix that ASAP. Once I fix the Speedo, once I get the exhaust on, then really it's time to start working on the oil leaks, which I'll show you guys. That's gonna be a whole fiasco, a couple video series on like <laughs> freshening up the Cummins. But guys, it's it for today's video. I appreciate all the support lately, guys. If you just wanna drop, if you've made it this far, please just drop a like comment it really helps for the video analytics and it really helps boost it up out there so i appreciate everything guys thank you for watching and until next time let's keep making this comments better